How to finance your commercial property deals. Well, as we know, we have debt and we have equity. And usually we can get debt from the High Street brands, uh, High Street Bank, sorry. And, uh, and obviously equity comes from either our own resources, refinancing uh, what we already have, friends, family, and also uh, investors. Uh, so this week we're gonna jump into debt, equity, and investors. Um, which are really important uh, tools to have in your bag to finance your commercial property deals. So let's jump in right now. So in terms of, um, you know, financing deals, um, there, I mean, really there's, there's one thing, there's money. That money split into two sections, debt and equity, in a nutshell. And you know, debt only goes so far. So in every deal, predominantly, there's some form of equity going into the deal. Irrelevant if you increase the value, add value, there's still equity going into a deal. Now, that equity doesn't have to be yours. It can be a JV investor, somebody who doesn't have time, but they have money. Um, but in a nutshell, I was trying to keep this as simple as possible. And the simplest way, you know, if you're, because this is all about evaluating deals quickly on, on the back of a five packet really quick in five minutes, is this deal going to stack up? And in a nutshell, you know, what you need to know really, really quickly is how much debt this deal can sustain. Yeah. In a simplified way, um, without the rocket science, without the overwhelm, without the complication. So if you just think, you know, the current rent, now this is subject to a lease being in place, um, but the current rent divided by 1.5 is a ballpark. It's not on the money, but it's not a million miles off the money. Um, this almost comes out identical to uh, what one of the private clients, you know, loan offer he's just got recently. Um, so rent divided by 1.5 equals the maximum yearly loan payments because this is based on, this very simplified formula is based on fully amortized debt profile over 15 years. And that's fancy words to say that you start off at full debt and over 15 years you get to zero debt. That's all that that means. Amortization, fully amortized loan means that you start off at whatever debt and you get down to zero debt. Yeah, a way to very, very quickly, um, on you know in five minutes, take the rent, divide by 1.5, you get your maximum loan repayments. Then if you take that uh, figure and multiply it by 10, you've got your maximum debt loading that you can put on a deal in a very simplified way. And as long as that is less than 65% LTV, um, that should be the kind of debt profile that you can get from a bank, whether that's a tier one bank or a challenger bank. Um, so just to go through that again, the maximum debt loading on a very simplified you know, very, very quick sketch assessment as you take the rent, divide it by 1.5, that'll be your maximum loan repayments. Yeah. So if I get my calculator out just now and take a rent of 30,000 pounds, divide it by 1.5 is 20K. So the bank will allow 20K uh, as a capital and interest repayment and the reason for that is something we call, uh, called debt cover. Uh, and they want a certain ratio of debt cover. And what I've tried to do is debt cover um, is very much, they take your 30K, they take 20% off for costs, and then you have to have at least 1.2 cover on fully debt. Then if you have it interest only, they'll uh, stress test that, but it's up to 8%. If you have it fixed, you, they don't. So that's a lot of moving parts, <laughs> what I've just said there. And simplification, you just take the rent, divide it by 1.5, that assumes full, fully amortized 15 year profile. It also assumes a 5% fixed rate, which is kind of on the money right now. Now that gives you a very, very simple calculation to work out debts. And on that calculation, 30K rent would equal 20K, um, 20K loan, uh, 20K of loan repayments over the year. and times 10 would be 200,000 pounds. So on a rent of 30K a year, the bank would allow maximum 20K per year as capital interest, and they would, which will equate to roughly as a maximum 200,000 pounds, as long as it doesn't breach the kind of 65% LTV, yeah? So if it does breach the 65%, they want to bring it down a bit. 